Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to play with these neon pigments that I showed you last time. So what I'm going to do is paint these two tips with two coats of black gel polish and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to use two different techniques. I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer. So, I have some white gel polish. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my palette. And I'm just going to get a little brush. So, with the first one, I'm going to use it the way that um, Natasha Lee shows in her video so if you haven't seen that I will link that in the description below so she just takes some white gel polish on the brush and just kind of does a sweeping motion not too much because it will spread so then I'm gonna get some isopropyl alcohol so before we cure this we're just gonna go in to the alcohol in onto the wet gel polish and then just feather this through. You kind of want the edges to look smoky. So it will look a mess to start with. And then just go in and blur those edges a little bit more. So this is the first time I've ever tried this, so we're gonna learn together. I'm gonna kind of bring some little bits out just so that it gives that smoky effect. And she says you can kind of swirl the brush in there as well so it looks more smoke-like. So we just need to wait for the rubbing alcohol to evaporate off of there before we cure that. So I'm going to leave that one to one side and then we're going to do a blooming gel version on this now. So I've got my canny blossom gel, blooming gel, same thing. And I'm just going to do a thin coat of this on the nail. So that's our blossom gel on there. And then we're gonna go in with the white gel polish again. And again, just do the same kind of thing. Okay. 
hoping that the blossom gel will make this effect for us. We can just kind of go in and swirl some bits. I'm also just going to pop some blooming gel on my little palette here and then we can run that through that gel polish and that will kind of loosen that up a little bit more. I'm just kind of stippling that in along the edge. Oops, got a hair on me. So just with some blossom gel on the brush, I'm just going into that edge and just breaking that up a bit because I don't want that to be too neat. Sorry if you can hear background noise, I've got the window open because it's hot again. Okay, so when you're happy with that, just going to want to pop that in the lamp. Just got a little bubble there. Make sure I get that out. See, this is the problem. You can just keep playing and playing and I don't know when to stop. So we're just going to pop both of those in the lamp because this one, the um, rubbing alcohol has evaporated now. Okay, so this is the one we did with the rubbing alcohol. So we're going to do this one first. So I've just got an old eyeshadow brush here, which is clean. And we're now going to go in with the neon pigments. Just a word of warning, don't breathe around these because I did last time with the orange and it went absolutely everywhere. So just make sure you are cautious when using these. So I'm gonna start with the green. I'm just gonna pick up some on the brush. You literally don't need much at all. And we're just gonna press that in to the tacky layer. And then just wipe the brush off and then pick up your next colour wipe the brush off again and then into the pink brush off. Now you can kind of pat over the areas where the colours meet just to kind of give it a better blend. And then I'm just going to wipe the excess off. Like so. Now I'm going to go back in with some of the isopropyl alcohol. Just here. So just wet the brush ever so slightly and then neaten up where that pigment has kind of run over the edge.
So there is the neon smoke. So you can see here where I've wiped off that a little bit too much. I'm gonna see if I can just pat a little bit more into there. Hmm. Doesn't really work because we've taken that tacky layer off. But okay, that's the first attempt. So I'm gonna top coat that just with an old top coat that I use for my videos. You kind of want to do it as a floating top coat just so you're not disturbing any of the powder. And I would definitely use a separate top coat for this, not the best one. Because if any pigment gets into it, you're going to ruin your favourite top coat. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp and then we'll go on to the blooming gel one. I'm going to start the opposite way this time. I'm going to do pink at the top. Orange in the middle. Clean brush just to wipe off the excess. And then with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. So I find that if you go in and then kind of tap the brush just to get the excess off, and then go in and remove any of that excess. So that's the one with the blooming gel, we'll top coat that one. and then pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. So these are the two finished nails. So this was the one that we did with the rubbing alcohol and gel polish, and this is the one that we did with the blooming gel. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer and if you've tried this technique before. Um, and also let me know if there are any other pigment designs that you want me to try, anything you want me to play with. Let me know and I will definitely do those for you. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also you can click the notification bell um, down below next to the subscribe button and then that will notify you every time I upload a video.